okay? There's only so much I can do, right, over the phone and through the videos and through Zoom meetings and case studies like this. There's only so much I can do. At the end of the day, the client is in control of their finances. I am not. I am not a money manager. I'm not. And even if I was, I'm only managing a portion of their funds. You as the client, you've got to take full accountability of the information that you're feeding yourself, the philosophies you're buying into, the the, the mindset, the attitudes, all that. You got to really hold yourself accountable for the goals that you initially set out for yourself. But also understand, even myself, we're all going to, you can call it a failure, or a mistake or a setback, whatever you want to call it, life's going to happen. And the key thing is for you to stick to your morals and principles. Even when life happens, there's a setback, there's a failure, there's a, a delay. Like I said, whatever you want to name that, when things don't go according to plan, according to the numbers that Denzel wrote on the, on the board and whatnot, according to the timeline, we, we, we can't go back to what to how you were operating before you met me before you started watching my content and other people's content. Got to remain in that base, that principle, who we are, right? Uh, uh, the foundations that we're trying to build, that base. Can't sacrifice it for lack of uh, a discipline or lack of knowledge. Yeah, come back, come back. Okay, shoot, life's coming at us. What do we do? Don't violate principles. Don't violate the laws that you've established because because you can't violate a law. The law violates you can't violate a principle, the principle violates you. When you break it, guess what? There's a consequence. So here's an example, right? Not all of my case studies are uh, lovely, you know, where I'm like, look how amazing, you know, so every now and then I show negative case studies, negative cash flow. I'll show a case study like this where I'm like, look, you know, we started out good and then had some setbacks and then we picked it up and now we got another setback and it's going to take some time for this so-called base foundation to really be built. It might take a couple of years for certain people. As a coach, I need to remain patient, diligent, keep praying, do everything in my power to kind of reel you back in. You may or may not be dealing with this situation, but 2023, I'm telling you, is another warning. I said this in the last gathering on, on our last live stream together. People are going to get exposed. It might be the person on this board right here, right? It may not if we do certain moves. People are going to get exposed in the next 12 months that are over leveraging, that are uh, uh, borrowing tons of, of, of cheap debt and not realizing that the interest rates have been creeping up on those 0% debts or, or low interest or fixed rate debts or variable debts with a fixed rate that's about to expire. You don't realize the jump of what a 2% increase would do, a 3% increase, what, what that can do to your monthly payments. 